This is the high score parallax pistol sighting rest. And this rest is really neat because you'll be able to sight your handgun in in three to five shots. The first step in sighting in is to have a target. You can use a bullseye, but we found a little bit easier to use a cross target like this that we can you can make with a marker. Put it 50 feet away and fire a three or a five shot group. Take careful aim at the center of your target and fire a careful three or five shot group. As you can see, we're a little bit off the mark, but that's our group, and the important thing is to have a good tight group. Now what you need to do is mark the center of the group. We've supplied a number of these iridescent orange target plasters, and here you can mark the group very clearly. Now, what we've done here is we've removed the target for the purpose of illustration. In actuality, you would leave the target in place, mark the center of it, and then come back to the bench. Another thing you may want to pay attention to is if you miss the paper, move the target closer to the gun until you're on the paper and then adjust from that point and then move the target back to your normal range. Since you will not be firing the gun anymore in this process, unload it, remove the magazine, now adjust the vise and fix the gun in the vise You will note that the vise can adjust back and forth to accommodate virtually any arrangement in a gun and any barrel length. One of the things you want to pay attention to is to keep the vise in the same location as when you fired your group. Our next step after the gun is fastened in the vise is to look through the sight. What we want to do now is we want to get the reticle, either the crosshair or the red dot, dead center on our original point of aim. Now, in, in our case, that's the cross target. If you're using a bullseye, of course, it's the center of the bullseye. Do not touch the sights. What you want to do is you want to move the rest left to right for windage, and you want to use these elevation adjustments to change the elevation until you get the reticle dead center on your original point of aim. This is the final step. We're going to mechanically and optically align the points of impact and point of aim. Move the scope caps. Look through your sight, put the reticle or the red dot dead center on the original point of aim. Now in our case, that's the center of the cross. Of course, if you're using a bullseye target, it would probably be the center of the bullseye. Now without touching the gun or the rest, what you want to do is move the adjustments on the scope so you walk that reticle or crosshair directly into the point of impact, which we already marked with that round iridescent orange marker. Once you've done that, you have aligned point of impact and point of aim and you are sighted in.